Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Aquarius might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for May 21st through 31st, 2020, keeping in mind that Altero readings are timeless. So whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year or so from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. And also keep in mind that this is just a generalized reading for the entire sun sign of Aquarius. So if it doesn't completely resonate with you, just keep the parts that do, disregard the rest. And if you know your other planetary placements, like those I mentioned at the beginning of this video, then you can listen to your other sun signs as well for additional messages. <laughs> okay, so with all that little intro being said, let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Aquarius and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Aquarius for May 21st through 31st. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aquarius? May 30, 21st through 31st. May 20th, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aquarius for May 21st through 31st? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aquarius? And one more time, I think we'll be good. Okay, now I'm going to divide these into three stacks. And the card on the bottom of the deck, you'll see as soon as I do, it's the sun. Okay, well, this is awesome energy. This re this card is the overall energy for this spread. And so as we go through this reading, I'm going to show you how it's going to relate to the other cards that come up. Now, the sun is all about that rebirth, that growth. It's about luck and prosperity, uh, brand new beginnings, fertility, all of those type things. So that's really a nice lucky card card you know light is life and the sun is light so okay so as we go um, through the spread I'm going to show you how that card is going to relate to the ones that come up I think I already said that but anyway uh, for those of you who are new here I lay out four rows the first row is related to you what you're going through um, in the recent past, what you're currently dealing with, and things and opportunities, people, options that are coming towards you. Now, in the second column, it's the same thing, only it's for your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine counterpart. It could be a karmic partner. Uh, this could be maybe somebody that you just met. It might be an ex that you want to reconcile with, but it is generally the person that you think of the most, the one you're thinking about when you first wake up in the morning, and that last person you're thinking about about when you go to sleep at night. The third column is about the blockages and challenges we face that is keeping us from uh, getting to our desired outcome. And it also has to do with fears and anxieties, all right? Now, the fourth row is about um, outcome. All right, now I don't read reversals. Um, that's kind of a modern thing in the last half of the past century uh, people started doing. It wasn't something that was originally done. And there are plenty of meanings in these cards, especially when they relate to the cards that surround them. Okay, so uh, I just choose to read more traditional and not do the reversals. Now in your, the, in your row, we have that Queen of Cups energy as well as the Three of Wands. And this shows me that you've been putting all of that love and compassion and, um, you know, human kindness and sensuality out into the universe. And you are waiting for your ships to come in, so to speak. You're waiting for that love to be reciprocated. You're waiting for the universe to take notice and uh, reflect and send back what all do you have been putting out there? All right, it's kind of good. Now, in your person's column, 
okay? We have that King of Swords as well as the Nine of Wands. And this is a person um, that might be entering your life soon or it could be someone who's recently exited. But this King of Swords most likely is uh, representing you, okay? Uh, even though it's in your partner's column, one of the cards relates to you and one relates how you view, how you are viewing the situation with your partner and the other is how your partner is viewing the situation. And with you having this King of Swords, <clears throat> you may have uh, some little qualms there about uh, whether you want this particular person in your life and, and it's leaving your person feeling maybe just a little bit guarded like uh, you know why are they uh, holding back from me what is it I need to be aware of they're actually like on high alert because this is someone that really and truly wants your attention but they are also feeling like you might be quick to uh, sort them out so to speak and um, they don't want to be uh, stepping forward into a relationship and get emotionally attached and bonded when there's always that chance you can, uh, you know, cut them out of your life really easily. And that may be the atmosphere around you is that you are just, you know, you're not looking for anything playful. Uh, you're looking for something more permanent. Okay. So when we get into your obstacles and challenges, of course, you are looking for that equal relationship. You are looking for that give and take. You're looking for someone that uh, understands you on your level and you don't really even have to explain where you're coming from because they are uh, of the same uh, family of vibes that you are. And, you know, you're afraid that <clears throat> at any minute you know, it, it might not last, and you're kind of feeling like, you know, uh, are these petty arguments going to come up? What, how long is this going to last? Is this going to be, is this going to, this new relationship that I'm so scared to step into, uh, you know, how long is this little honeymoon period going to last? And so that, and that could be something that's holding you back. Now, the thing about fears and anxieties is if you focus on them too much, you can actually manifest those things back into your life. And that's not really something that you want to do, all right? You want to be able to, uh, you know, freely give your love because love is love. It just exists, okay? There's all types of love. It doesn't have to be romantic love, but love stands on its own anyway so you should never be afraid to give love okay it's that getting attached <laughs> it's getting it's that getting attached and uh, being hurt part uh, or betrayed part that gets scary and so we have this four of swords and it tells me that you know you may have been uh, and spending this period of time where we're all social distancing uh, taking this time to heal and reflect on all these things that you know might have been troublesome to to you in the past in your healing this card talks about to me uh, from the way that I'm feeling this vibe is uh, it's like having PTSD it's like going through such a horrible experience that you actually need to take time on your own before you step out into the world and offer this love because you don't want to carry over these residual feelings okay and be so quick to cut off someone that could absolutely be the love of your life before it even before it even has a chance to start okay so uh, this this period of time that we've all been spending uh, hopefully has been a very good one for you as far as your personal growth all right now we're going to get into the second row of four cards now um, I lay out Four rows with two cards in each row and I do that three times for a grand total of uh, 24 cards generally by the time we get to the end of the reading then we have a pretty good idea about what's going on all right so we had the nine of swords and the eight of cups all right uh, your partner has that six of wands and the three of cups um, in the anxieties, fears, challenges, obstacles. We have the seven of cups and again, that eight of swords. That's, you know, talking about being afraid to move forward. Uh, your outcome, we have the page of swords and the five of swords. All right, well, a lot of swords in here. And of course, you know, you are an air sign. So those are all going to relate back to you and what's going on with you and how you're feeling about it. Um, well, of course, 
you had you've been through a lot of hurt there might have been something very traumatic that happened to you in your past but you are finding that you are ready to love again and you do have this incredible amount of love that you are putting out there and you know hoping so much it will return to you so you are going to be walking away from these things in your past that have hurt you you don't want to be this anymore you don't want any more sleepless nights or wondering what it is you could have done differently for a different outcome or you know whatever happened whether uh, you were in a uh, toxic relationship whether um, it was something that was tragic it's time for that pain to for you to heal that pain okay and no more of this okay so you're healing from this and you are walking away you're going to walk away from it, and you're going to find more love than you ever, ever even dreamed was possible. So, <clears throat> we have this Three of Cups, which talks about, you know, celebratory, it talks about uh, fun times, it talks about socializing, which, you know, the whole world's opening back up right now, and so that might give you the opportunity. And this could very well be how you meet this new person that's that's entering your life and it's going to be um you know very successful we have this six of wands here and you know just simplify it it's like yeah this is this is going to be something that's going to bring you a lot of joy into your life okay now as far as your fears and anxieties obstacles challenges with this eight of swords as well as the seven of cups you've been in situations before situationships manipulationships all these things that took on the pretense of being an actual loving give and take relationship and you know the seven of cups is all about overindulgence it's about uh too much of a good thing okay and in a lot of times you might have been dealing with somebody who had other options beside you and it just kind of messed up the whole situation going on so as you are stepping forward into your new relationship uh that king of swords energy that you're projecting right now uh is is keeping you is keeping you from stepping forward you see she's surrounded by these swords and the eight of swords talks about a prison whether it's a real prison or whether it is a mental prison our fears can hold us hostage and keep us from stepping forward and moving forward you see how she has her toes touching the water really gingerly there and she could she could easily you know pull these blinds and bindings off of her and see what exactly is going on but uh, afraid to do it afraid to move forward you know been through it before uh, afraid to take that chance on love again but you don't have to be afraid like that you just need to uh, enjoy the experience enjoy the moment live presently okay and like I said before, the more you focus on these things, the more you will manifest that. The more you focus on a phobia, the worse it gets. Uh, and then things start getting added to it and added to it, which makes it snowball and get really uh, massive amount of fear involved with that. Uh, this prison of our own mind is what is actually keeping us from moving forward it's not the new person because this new person is outstanding actually and somebody that you could uh, come into your life regardless of whatever type of relationship you might have had before this is a completely different relationship you're a completely different person you've been through hell and you have learned from that and you have healed from that and now it's time for you to stop being afraid and to move forward with your life okay hold on all right so here's the two cards here the page of swords I could I have this right here there was there were and out of order when I laid them back down when I pulled those out a minute ago so when you have this five of swords and you have this page of swords this is you uh, you know over analyzing <laughs> in a way that only Aquarius can do you're like examining every little bit of the situation you're seeing it for what it is and you may be very quick to call somebody out on uh, what 
they might or might not be doing and this can cause a little bit of discord between you guys and you know your partner is like you know what I'm just gonna walk away uh, you know so you really need to be careful that when you do meet this person you uh, they, they very they feel very genuine okay they don't feel uh, like they're a crappy person at all for lack of a better word um, yeah, so you might actually be feeling that this person um, could do the same type things that the previous person did to you. Just remember that they are two separate people. Even if they could have similar taste in art, music, uh, entertainment, um, you know, whatever their hobbies are, even if they are similar, they're not the same person. They don't have the same parents. They don't have the same upbringing. They don't have the same religious background, generally. You know, even, you know, they're not that, but they don't have the same experiences as your other person that might have been the root of what caused that previous relationship to dissolve. Just give this person a chance without being so quick to, uh, you know, check on every little thing that they're doing or uh, be so quick or so guarded that you, you know, cut it off before it even has a chance to start. Now in your last set of four cards, we have the star, yay, and we have that three of pentacles. That's beautiful together. Your partner has the fool and the knight of swords. And in your uh, obstacles, challenges, blockages, fears, and anxieties, we have the Five of Cups as well as the Lovers. And in your outcome, we have the Moon as well as the Two of Wands. Okay, the Shrink card also fell out, so I paused there. So we'll just read that with it as an additional card. So, Aquarius, here comes your star. This is your beautiful beginning this is your great big new start right here uh you you have made it through they talk about pain and they're talking about you know you can drink or you can do drugs or you can uh indulge in thousands of sex partners or whatever it is you know food anything like that and uh you know kind of dull the pain just a little bit you can't because if when you're done doing those things that pain is still there. The only way to get through the pain is to go through it. You can't go around it. You can't. So you've made it through. You're making it through to the other side. You have this new beginning that is offering you. You are put, you're going to go ahead and uh, be brave and step outside of those interferes that you have and put yourself out there and make yourself vulnerable and, you know, kind of expose your true feelings, which is something that, uh, you know, Aquarius does from time to time. Uh, and sometimes they're very guarded and uses eccentricities and bohemian type lifestyles to disguise uh, their inner self. But this is you putting yourself out there and taking that chance with that person. I am so sorry, there's like a million car alarms going off out here. All right, <clears throat> so as far as the three of pinnacles, this is somebody that you actually look up to. This could be a creative person. This could be somebody that is, uh, you know, offering you, uh, you know, a space in their life and you know that may sound egotistical but it's really not this is someone that is going to pursue you they are going to pursue you okay uh, regardless of uh, how uh, distant you may seem at first they see in you the value of you and they want uh, like a brand new relationship with you they want on both sides and want themselves as well as you to put behind any past hurts and not judge the other on whatever has happened in the past just to you know jump right in enjoy the ride and uh you know and it's a really good feeling being pursued by someone uh you know it's a really good feeling being wanted okay especially if it's somebody that we have an interest in so in your obstacles and challenges well, we have this lovers and we have this two of cups here and yes you've hurt and you've mourned over your past but you have this new love that is behind you and here it is so it's going to be up to you to step outside of your comfort zone and enjoy 
this new love that's coming into your life. It's going to offer you all types of new uh, experiences that are coming towards you. So when you are uh, coming to your outcome, and we have these three cards here, and I'll add this one lastly, uh, that moon card, you know, it's, it's a lot like that star card, if you ask me, because, you know, the sun is just a star, and and the eclipse that we're seeing here is the earth, the sun shining so brightly that the earth's shadow is covering the moon, and when it goes on and moves off of the moon, when that shadow moves across and the moon is illuminated again, all kinds of things are discovered. This is somebody that you do not have to hide your um, past about. This is somebody that is not going to be trying to hide their past from you. You are, uh, like I said, with this card, you are making yourself vulnerable. There's no secrets, uh, no holds barred, so to speak, and you are free to completely be yourself and look forward to a future that is extremely um, prosperous and loving, okay? And you, you have this new love that's coming into your life, brand new love, Brand new love, brand new love. And it's something that, you know, I think is, is time for you to experience that. Uh, and then our last card we're going to close with is the strength card. So the strength card, of course, that's about, you know, uh, using whatever it is that you have within you to make it through, to end up being brave enough to take go ahead and take that chance on uh, having love in your life again. It's a very beautiful thing, and uh, you deserve it, Aquarius. You're a very lovely and beautiful person, and you have so much to offer so, someone. There is no uh, use in continuing to mourn over something from your past that you absolutely had no control over. Okay, Aquarius. So, that is your love reading for May 21st through the 31st. So, there may be a, a love interest coming in really soon, if not during these last 10 days of May, then shortly around in the time period, there should be uh, something or someone that catches your eye and you're ready to experience love again. Okay. Well, I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for all of your comments, likes, shares, and subscribes. And in order to show you my gratitude, if you go over to the community tab <clears throat> on my page, there's a post in there where I'm doing a giveaway. And if you like that post and underneath it, comment done, then I will include you in the drawing that's going to be on May 31st uh, for the Mighty Aphrodite Love Drawing Kit. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I love you so much, and I will see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.